Okay, hello. In this video, I will be um, deploying the NF, uh, deploying the NetApp NFS plugin for VMware VAII. Prior to installing the NetApp uh, plugin for VMware VAII, NFS data store cannot take advantage of, of offloading activities such as hardware exploration, and, and you can see that it shows non-supported. So let's go to the interoperability matrix tool uh, provided by NetApp to see um, uh, what uh, uh, what version of plugin is supported? So the, here's the link for the site. So type in here VAI and um, um, then hit next. And uh, um, the first thing I'll choose is the NetApp OS. So in my case, I'm running the uh, 8.3.1. Uh, let me find where it is. Okay, so here it is. Um, and then I'll install the protocol, which is NFS uh, 3. And then I'll choose the hypervisor. Uh, so I'm currently running ESX version 5.0 update 3. And uh, so there it is. Um, so after selecting these options, the only plugin I can see is the version. Um, uh, 1.0.021 so you need to download this plugin from the download site so here's the link for the download uh, uh, software download site <coughs> so I'm gonna look for the VAAI and then in the platform I'll choose the ASXI5 and the only plugin it shows me the version it shows me is 1.0.21 which matches with the with this matrix so we'll go ahead and download this plugin <coughs> um, here are some of the instructions you just um, um, follow, you just follow these and once everything meets just hit continue and they hit the accept for the user license license agreement and so here are these two files um, you just need only one file which is a web or zip file um, I have downloaded both but actually you just need only one file and, then, and the instructions are also here um, that shows you how to install uh, so there are many different ways um, uh, to you can download using the CLI. I'll be using uh, um, the plugin that I have installed using the uh, VSE Virtual Storage Console plugin. So for that, I go to the vCenter server where the VSE Virtual Storage Console is installed, and this is the default location where um where the um vsc picks up the um uh, the the plugin so that's the location where and so you need to copy those two vib and zip files in this location So here are the files um, .vib and .zip file. I actually just need only one web file, but I have actually uh, copied both. And I have also extracted the zip file, which is not really necessary um, uh, because the only file that I'll be using is the web, is the web file. So before we do that, um, we just want to make sure that um, the VAI is supported on the VMware host or not. So for that, we need to go to the uh, go to, go to the open the party session um, by enabling the SSH.
So this is the command that um, that is used to check if the um, VAI, VAAI is supported or not. Um, just type the command. I think I'm, I had a typo. So the command is also shown in the um, in the video below. I've uh, zoomed it out, zoomed it in. Sorry. Um, so the command output should give you either one or zero. One means that the VAAI is supported on this VMware host. There's another. There, you can also check using another command, um, accelerated init. So again, this also shows the hardware acceleration is one, which means it's supported. Um, so after checking the ESX server, the next step is to check if the storage um, uh, meets the requirements. So some of the requirements in the storage is um, the NFS should be supported, and also the uh, uh, NFS storage support um, uh, this plugin or not. So the command to check this is this vServer NFS show. Uh, for vServer name, you just, need, you just need to type in your name. So for for me, the the vServer name um, uh, was a different name. So here you'll type your uh, vServer name. We just hit tab, and it's going to just give you different options, um, so which is pretty, I mean, which is pretty handy. Um, so here's the output for the command. Let me just zoom it, zoom it in. So it shows that the NFS storage support is enabled, and the minimum requirement is also NFS version three, which, um, which I have enabled also, which is right here. So um, both ESX server and the storage supports the uh, VAI. Um, I just need to install the plugin and get it working. So for that, I need to uh, open up the VSC uh, Virtual Storage Console plugin um, using the vCenter server. And hit the tools and click on install so here um, you should see this option only if you have these plugins copied here. Um, if the plugin is not, you will not see this option. And the other thing is that the plugin has to be a specific version, sorry, a specific um, name. Um, so for example, here the plugin has to be netapp nas plugin.vib. The exact file name. If it's not the file, if it's not the exact file name, um, uh, VSC Storage Console is not going to pick up that plugin. So go ahead and click Install, and I'll be installing it on the um, let's say ESX12 server. Hit Next. This process is, is pretty fast. It shouldn't take more than a minute or two. So in the meanwhile, I can also have this plugin install on the second um, ESX host. And after this installation, we have to reboot the ESX server. So uh, make sure when you install this plugin, you are also aware that um, after the installation, you need to reboot the ESX server. So all the hosts, all the uh, VMs that are residing on the on this ESX needs to be migrated off to another host.
So this VAI plugin is actually um, it just uploads certain tasks from physical hosts to the storage arrays. For example, thin provisioning and hardware restoration can, can be done at the array level to reduce the workload on the SXI host. Um, and that's why we're doing this. So eventually less stress on the ASX server. All right, so the installation has been completed. And uh, uh, once it's done, then we'll go ahead and uh, reboot the ASX servers. So for that, we need to put um, these ASX servers into uh, the best way is to put them into the maintenance mode. And since I don't have any VMs, so I'm not going to choose this option. So both ASX servers are now ready to reboot. Um, so once I'll reboot, uh, I'll, I'll just pause the video. And once the servers are back up, then uh, I will resume the video again. Okay, the servers are back up and I'm just going to take them out of, from the maintenance mode. <clears throat> and after that, I need to go back to the ESXi CLI um, just to verify that if the plugin is installed correctly or not. So for that I will be checking the um, VIB list. VIB stands for the vSphere installation bundle. And the command for this is uh, ESXi CLI software VIB list. Um, and you can do pipe more. So here um, we can see that the NetApp plugin has been installed successfully. And uh, we'll just go ahead and close this window and stop the uh, SSH server. And also, um, we can see here that in the hardware, ex hardware acceleration, now it shows supported. So that's it. Um, we have success successfully installed. Thank you so much for watching.